Hi, I'm Dr. Evan Matthews. I'm here at Montclair State University in the Exercise Science Lab to show you how to use the Paralab hardware with LabChart software in these um, skin and rectal temperature probes in order to do a temperature regulation type study where you can collect data on both skin and core temperature in real time. All right, so what we have here is the skin temperature probe, which is this uh, little um, ceramic end with the uh, silver metal backing. And you can see that it has a sort of a, a DIN connector here. Um, and this, what you would essentially do is just tape this onto the skin wherever you wanted to get the measurement and um, make sure that the um, either the ceramic or the metal is in direct contact with the skin. There's no source space between them in any way. Um, so this, the blue one here with the white tip, this is the rectal temperature thermometer. So this is how you're going to get core temperature. All right, so it has a very different type of uh, adapter here that for plugging it in. And it actually has to go through a um, through a special pod, a, a temperature pod, or a T-type pod. And this is that pod. And so you can see what you do essentially is you plug in this so there's a copper and a silver um, sort of prong there and then this if you look closely there's a copper and a silver one as well and it just kind of gets plugged right into that and <clears throat> the other side of this t-type probe uh, uh, adapter has a din pin just like the din pin on the skin temperature probe all right so the other part of using the rectal temperature probe is you typically want to put it in something to make sure that it's as sanitary as possible as far as uh, making it easy to clean it up later. So this is going to be put into the rectum of the individual. And so if you look at this, this is just a little plastic sheath that you can use. But what you do is you take this probe and where these arrows are, you kind of peel up just a little bit and you slide this in. And so this is going to be sliding into the sheath and you push it in until it doesn't let you push any further and then you just kind of peel the backing off, well, sorry, peel the front off and peel the backing off as well. Peel off the two sides of it and this is what you have left with and um, this stays on like this while it's being used so that when you want to stop using it you just simply take this off and you clean that with some sort of bleach type solution or some other um, very strong cleaner. All right, so once you have the rectal temperature probe connected to the other end of this, and you have the sheath on there, and typically you also want to have the person have already inserted the rectal temperature probe before plugging all this in, or, or at least plug in the blue um, cord here to the temperature, or the T-type pod, after having them insert it. Uh, and then this is going to go into the DIN connector in channel 4, because that's what our settings file is looking for, is it to be in channel 4. All right, so you're going to see on this, there's a, a little label here that says top, and that's just going to be inserted into the DIN connector there on channel 4. It takes a little bit of pressure to get it in there, and that's setting up the rectal temperature probe. All right, so the skin probes the skin probes have these DIN connectors as well, but they're going to have to go through an extra amplifier since this, so if you remember the, the rectal temperature probe went through this T-type probe amplifier, these are going to go through um, a bridge amplifier, or in our case we have a quad bridge amplifier, meaning there's four different ports that you can uh, plug things into it. All right, so this is going to be going into this top box here, or this, this sort of box on top of the power lab. Um, this is our quad bridge amp, and again, you're going to want to make sure that you plug in the, the pins correctly, so just make sure you line them up when you go to put it in. There's a little sort of, it kind of looks like a screw on the top here, that's the top of the, um, of the, the cord, and you just push that in as well. Alright, so we have um, the probes themselves connected to the power lab. Um, but we need to set up the back of the power lab for the skin temperature probes. So this is the back of the power lab. This is the back of the quad bridge amp. So we have this gray cord going from the, the output to the input for power. So this quad bridge amp gets power. And then we have this set of four different um, BNC cords connected to this. So there's an output one, output two, output three, and output four. 
All right, so that is because you can have four different things plugged in. If you only have one plugged in like I have now, you only need the one output plugged in for whatever one you're using. So I have it plugged into output one. So if I wanted to, I could unplug this red, blue, and yellow one and just keep the black one. And so this output one is going to be plugged into the front of the power lab. So let me just turn this around real quick. So I have it in channel, set up for channel 5. So I have the other side of this. So like I said, this is a quad bridge amp. So we have four different BNC connectors here, um, but we're only using one at the moment. But if you're using all four, obviously plug in all four. This black one goes into channel 5. If you're using the other ones, it's just channel 5, 6, 7, and 8. All right. So. I now have all the wiring connected here for both the skin temperature probe, which is going through the bridge amp to the, um, to the power lab, as well as for the rectal temperature probe, the blue one, which is going through this T-type uh, T-type pod and into the power lab uh, here. All right, so once you have all the hardware set up, um, you probably also want to have the participants um, uh, sort of ready to go, so have the rectal probe in, as well as have all of the skin temperature probes that you're going to use. So again, we're only using one of them here, but if you're going to use all four, use all, have all four connected to the individual. And then what you're going to do is come into the software, the computer, and you're going to open up Lab Chart 8. So also make sure that the Power Lab itself is turned on. So it was just scanning to make sure everything that it was uh, uh, looking for was plugged in and turned on. So it's looking for Power Lab, which is I uh, got a green uh, check here, which means it's turned on and plugged in. And it's looking for a couple other things that we're actually not using today. So whether they are checked with a, a green or have a, a red X, meaning they're not uh, plugged in and turned on, it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to click OK to get past that. All right, so now we have our settings files uh, set up. Uh, sorry, our settings files coming up here. We also could go in here and click New in order to make a brand new file without any settings uh, from previous uh, times opening up the software. So I don't want to do that today because it does take a little bit of time to set up these temperature probes. Um, so essentially, what you have to do is open up the settings file, get them plugged in, get them working, and then you have to calibrate each one of the temperature probes. Um, individually. So you have to have uh, essentially two different water type solutions um, that are different temperatures that you know what the temperatures are. So you have some sort of water bath or some other thermometer inside those water baths or inside the water. And then you put the probe in and you do a two point calibration. So I'm not going to go over how to do that. It's a little bit more advanced, but assuming that everything's set up, everything's working, we're going to go right into our skin core temperature template here. Lots of things popping up. Um, that's because this is set up to record a lot of things, not just the temperature regulation equipment that we're looking at today. Um, but most of the stuff we don't need, so we're going to sort of uh, minimize some of these channels. So here's our rectal temperature. Here is our skin temperature one, which is the only one we have connected. So we don't have skin temperature three, uh, sorry, two, three, or four connected. Um, if we had all those connected, we also have this average skin temperature um, channel here, which is the, the just arithmetic average of those other four channels, well, of, excuse me, of all four of those channels. Um, we don't have more than one connected, so we won't look at that either. So I'm just going to hit start now so you can see it start to record the data. All right, so it's starting to record data. Um, some of these uh, channels uh, aren't always set up so that the um, whatever the value is that's currently being recorded is in the uh, viewable part of the screen. So you can see here the skin temperature, you're not seeing a line. So if you just come over here to this gray space, this empty gray space and double click, it's going to do a quick auto, um, auto scaling of the Y axis, which is going to allow you to be able to see it again. And if it's uh, some, if you can't see it properly, um, you can just keep double clicking and it's going to keep doing different types of scaling but I liked the one we had, so I just kept going until I got back to it. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the same thing for this rectal temperature probe. There we go. And um, so now what you can see, so these are just exposed to the air, so the, the room temperature in here, 
If you look over here, this is a better way of doing it. So here is it's 23.5.3 and um, 23.4. So um, they're pretty close to each other, so the calibrations are probably doing pretty well. Um, they may drift over time, so you're going to have to recalibrate every now and then. But let's go ahead and grab these now, and you're going to see that as my hand, which is a lot warmer than the room temperature, grabs onto the tip of the, first we'll do the skin temperature probe, um, you'll see the temperature actually rise. Right now it's kind of going down, I think it's my breath kind of hitting it a little bit, or maybe me moving it back and forth, a little wind uh, flow over it. But let's look at this channel right here, the skin temperature channel. So I'm going to grab it. And you're going to see it starts shooting up right away. And so let me just auto scale that so you can see what that looks like. Still shooting up. So body temperature obviously is much higher than air temperature. So if I let go of this tip here, so notice if I grab the wiring, it's going to start losing my temperature. So I'm going to let go, grab the wiring, and it's going to slowly come down. It's going to come down a little less uh, fast than what it went up just because it has to lose its heat to the environment now. But you can see a little bit of a downward drift happening here now. Let's do the same thing with the rectal temperature probe. So looking at this top channel here, if I grab the tip of it where the, the white part is, which is where it's going to be sensing temperature, you're going to see its temperature start to rise as well. So there it goes, going up really fast again. And so let's auto scale that a couple times. All right, and you can see that coming up. All right, so just like the other one went up fast, you can see this one going up. And if you look back at the skin temperature probe, you can see it clearly has come down quite a bit since I let go. So if I let go of this, you'll see the temperature start to come back down from this as well. So let me just scale that again. Um, so here we go. So it's slowly starting to come back down. Again, it's got to lose that heat to the environment around it. Um, but that's essentially how these work. So they're fairly simple once everything's connected. And, um, both to the machine and to the individual. They're just temperature probes. They're just going to sense that one element uh, about the individual. Um, but there's a lot you can do with these. So there's a really handy uh, setup to have. And it's actually a very complicated setup to get. So it's really nice that the 80 Instruments uh, company is able to sort of put this out and make this for you, or at least uh, sell it so you can put it together yourself. So. Um, really quick introduction to this. You can obviously do a lot of inf a lot of things with this. So you can put this, uh, attach this information. Oh, sorry, attach these probes to somebody and have them doing some sort of exercise or some sort of uh, heat stress where they're in a hot environment, and you're going to see um, some real time data that you can then go and analyze later. So if you have any questions about this, please put them in the comments below, and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. And um, if you like this, uh, go ahead and uh, like it, share it. Um, whatever, and uh, come back for another video. All right, thanks.